today I'm going to talk about a special equation that I've seen being solved on the internet but I do it in a slightly different way and I think a more elegant way so I'm going to explain how I do that the equation is the following you have y plus minus y equals and then there's usually a number there let's call it 8 it doesn't really matter the way I'm going to try to solve these, this equation is by inserting an interesting notation for y. So y equals a e to the power i phi. And I'm going to insert that into these equations. a is bigger than 0. And phi varies from minus pi to pi. Okay. And now we're going to insert a is bigger than zero, of course. Now I'm going to insert this into the equation, and that gives me the following. a i i phi, square root of that, plus the square root of minus y, so minus a e i phi. That minus a e i phi I can rewrite. I can say minus y equals minus a i i phi equals a e to the power i phi plus pi. If you work this out, e to the power i pi equals minus 1. So that's the minus here. So I now rewrote minus y into this type of form. So let's fill this out here again and then we get we can already take out a, square root of a. We can already rewrite this one into i to the phi over 2. Plus, now we're going to fill this one out here. a to the power e i phi plus pi. Okay, and we'll make this 8 again. Okay. Let's copy this first term, phi over 2, and let's take out the a here also. Let's take out the e to the power i phi, so you get also a term like that here, phi over 2, and you get an e to the power i pi over 2. And that together makes 8. Okay. So now we can take this first piece out, e to the power i phi over 2. We take that out and we calculate this, e to the power of i pi over 2 equals i. Okay, and that gives us 8. And now we can rework this term out and we can say, okay, this is really cosine phi over 2 plus i sine phi over 2 times 1 plus i and that equals 8. Now we can work this out a little bit more. We can say okay this is square root of a cosine times 1 equals cosine phi over 2 and then we're going to take the i sine phi over 2 times i which is minus sine phi over 2 I'm immediately collecting the real and imaginary parts i that's cosine phi over 2 okay cosine phi over 2 plus sine phi over 2 and that equals 8 Okay, so now we work this out into a real number and a complex number. This number here is real and not complex, so that implies that this one needs to be zero. Okay, so cosine phi over 2 equals, since it is zero, minus sine phi over 2. That tells us that the tangent of phi over 2 equals minus 1 
And that tells us that phi over 2 equals pi over 4 minus pi over 4. And that tells us that phi is minus pi over 2. Yeah, so if phi is minus pi over 2, this one is 0. So let's fill this value out in the first here. So we get square root of a cosine minus pi over 4 minus sine minus pi over 4 equals 8. Okay, and let's continue here. So we have this. We can work that out. So we can say, okay, this is square root of a. This is a half square root of 2 minus sine is pi over, minus pi over 4 is minus a half square root of 2. That gives us 8. So the square root of a times, this is 2 times, the square root of 2 equals 8. And as a consequence, if you left and right take the quadratic form, you get 2a equals 64. You can do that because a is bigger than 0, as we stated here. And that means that a equals 32. So now we have a solution, y equals 32 e to the power i pi over 2. Yeah, because we determined already that phi was pi over 2 here, minus pi over 2, sorry. So we can fill that out and we can say, okay, that is then minus 32i. So that's one solution. Now let's take a look at the equation again. If we would replace i with minus y, y with minus y, in this equation, you get minus y plus y equals 8. So that's again the same as what we had before. So there's also a solution, y equals minus y. So you can say that y, there are two solutions, plus and a minus, 32i. And those are the two solutions of this equation. Okay, I think this is a great place to stop. If you like this video, please subscribe and please like, and I'll see you in the next.